the baby pool pump system is pretty simplistic. We'll start, we've got the chlorinator. Uh, what you do is turn the pump off with the wall switch shown earlier. You can unscrew the top and there are chlorine tablets in that you would insert. Those are stored in the chemical room. And down at the bottom, you have a gauge and you can adjust the amount of chlorinated water, how much chlorine is going into the pool. You got the pump motor. You got the strainer basket, which uh, we'll go over shortly. You got the main filter tank. You got the control mechanism to do filtration or backwash. You got a back alert system. What this does is if there's a loss of pressure, it detects something blocking the main drain. Uh, it will trip and reduce the water flow down to about one third so as to prevent somebody from, from being stuck on the drain. Safety mechanism. We also have three valves here. We've got the return line valve, which you can see the arrow returning. We come this way. We've got the main drain and the skimmer line. Normally, when the baby pool is running normal, you're going to see this running close to 15 psi. So it's running slightly low now. Uh, the lower the psi normally indicates possibly the strainer basket needing to be empty. A higher number means that the backwash is required. To do a backwash is pretty simple. What you want to do is turn the pump off, close your return line, then you're gonna you would want to push down on the handle to release. And this is after turning the, the power off to the motor. You push the handle down and turn it to backwash, which is currently directly under the handle. You can't see it. And then you release and it goes back down inside. And at that point, you turn the pump back on. You let it run for a minute or two. And then what you want to do is reverse everything you just did. You push the, turn the motor off, handle down, return it to this position. Take your valve and rotate it back 90 degrees to the normal position and turn the pump back on.